uh, Kaysen after the game on Saturday and about how you guys really played well, seemed like for two and a half quarters. And he said fatigue kind of played a role late. What's the key for to kind of preventing that? I know you guys have been down some bodies, but what's what has to happen for, for that not to be an issue? Well, we've just been preaching all week, you know, we got to finish in games. Um, you know, probably outside of last game, we've been leading going into the fourth quarter. So our, our biggest thing, you know, is just getting back to, to finishing in the fourth quarter and being able to, uh, you know, to just, just capitalize on, on fourth quarter mistakes and just be able to finish strong. It looked like watching the game that you guys were fairly successful defensively on first and second down and then they were able to convert some third and longs. Is that kind of what film showed and what's the key to correcting that? Yeah, a little bit. We let a, a couple third down, uh, third and long uh, downs get away from us and, uh, Definitely just been going back to, to playing our defense. I mean, that's definitely going to help this week getting back to what we do and, you know, uh, just getting back to the basics and just, like, like I said, finishing and, and just making plays when we got to make the plays. Is it easier to approach things that way when you don't have to face that triple option this week? You get to play more traditional offense? Yeah, I mean, you, you go against that offense, you know, once a year and it's, and it's just different. So it's just one of those things where you get prepared for it and then after it, you know, you get back to going back to what you're used to, so you kind of, you know, correct what you got to correct for the next year, but kind of throw it to the side and get back to, to the, our bread and butter and what we do every week in and out. That said, Notre Dame does run the ball a lot, and they've had a lot of success this year running the ball. What what do they what do they do that makes them challenging uh, to stop the run? Well, they're a great team, you know, great offensive line. Uh, they got some top talent on that side of the ball, and uh, their running backs really really good, big big back. Uh, so we're just going to try to. To, to limit him in, uh, in his yards this game and just, just stop to run up front and just continue to do what we've been doing. How would you assess your personal play through the first five, six games of the season so far? I mean, I, I always can play better. I think everyone can play better. But, I mean, I, I would say, you know, average in my in my own opinion. And, you know, I correct myself a certain way and I hold myself to a certain standard. So I just believe I can play a lot better and I need to I need to step up uh, as a leader and as a player and just, you know, play my role a lot better. If there's one thing the injuries have done, it's create opportunity for younger guys. Have you seen guys step in and embrace early playing time, maybe earlier than they might have expected in their career? Yeah, offense and defensive side of the ball, I've seen a lot of the younger guys uh, step up and, and just try to take control of their role. I mean, you see guys on special teams like Trey Shaw and, and people on defense from Jordan Riley all over the map, just, just trying to step up and, and play their role at their position. I mean, they might not get the reps they wanted, but they're going to step up and, and uh, definitely contribute to the, to the team right now. Is there any mistake?